Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be my top 10 um, favorite bronzers to contour with. Um, I didn't get the chance to get all 10, so I have 8 of them, but I'm going to include 2 other products that can be used both as a bronzer as a contour, but they just come in a palette. So I'm just going to share with you my favorite ones and I really hope you guys enjoy it and maybe you get something new. So if you want to see my top 10 favorite bronzers to contour with, then just keep on watching. So I'm not going to go in any particular order, I'm just going to pretty much just pick them up as I go. So the first one that I have here is this Nikki Garrett's Contour Palette and this is a dual palette which means it comes with both a contour and a highlight. This is the one that I have and I have mine in the color medium. I did do a full review with a demo on this product a while ago. I believe it was one of my Waste or Worth It uh, Wednesday products and I absolutely love this one. I do forget that I have it, I'm not going to lie, just because it sits on the back of my drawers. But it is probably one of my favorite products to contour and bronze up my face. The reason why is because it is dark let me just give you a swatch that's the color right there so it is pretty dark it actually matches my skin tone very well now this doesn't have it does have slight cool undertones which gives you that more natural contour look which is what you want to do since the shadows on her face are cool toned they're not brown or orange so this is that perfect color to contour with so again this is the Nikki Garrett's contour duo in medium I will have a link to um, the page where you can buy it which is off of Amazon next this is an oldie but definitely a goodie this is the elf contouring blush and bronzer if you've been with me since you know my OG days back in the day when I first started YouTube um, you've seen me use this elf contouring blush and bronzer now the one that I used to love was the Saint Lucia um, contouring bronzer and I recently well not recently but after that I I discovered this one it's Turks and Caicos I believe that's how you pronounce it and this one just actually fits my skin tone a little bit better but this product right here is amazing it's a really nice super pigmented dark um, color now this one won't have those cool undertones where it'll make your contour look more natural again it doesn't have the cool tones but I'm okay with that because I feel like it can make it work and sometimes I don't need any additional like blush or bronzer this just does it all for me and it's super affordable as you know elf has amazing products at an amazing price and I believe this is only three dollars Next is another one of my probably top favorite bronzers that I own. This is the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish Natural and this is in Dark Deep. I've had this for a hot minute. I think I've had it for about a year and I love this. I love this so much. I Every time that I stop using it and then I use it again, I'm like, why do I stop using this? This is so amazing. First of all, it does have a little bit of a orangey tone to it. If you can see that, it does have a little bit of an orangey tone. But once you blend it into the skin, it just blends so seamlessly that you can't even see that orange tone. It just gives you a really nice sun-kissed look. I like to use this to contour my face as well when I don't want like a super chiseled out cheekbone. I'll just take this with a brush and I'll just go over my cheekbones with it and it just gives me a really nice flushed bronzy look and it still defines my cheekbone. But I just love this to do a natural contour and it's it's really pretty. I don't own any other MAC bronzers, but after this, I've just always been tempted to. So yeah, again, that was the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish Natural and Dark Deep. Next, I have this blush. This is the NYX Powders Blush in the color Taupe. I've had this for a while because I saw somebody talking about how amazing this is for contouring. And yes, I totally agree. I don't love it for a blush just because it has those taupey undertones and I'm not a taupey blush person. But this is 
perfect for contouring as you can see it has those cool undertones which again is going to give you the most natural looking contour out of everything and I just love 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 this I do use it on a regular I actually have it on my cheekbones today just to really define my cheekbones just because again it's going to give you that really natural contour look I love how blendable this is I can apply tons of it and it won't look cakey or it won't look muddy which I hate and it just blends so nicely into the skin you can also use this to contour your nose if you're into that or right underneath the lip right here to give that pouty appearance it's just a really nice blush to contour with and I believe this was only like five dollars <clears throat> oh, I was choking them all with saliva all right so next up is a recent product that I got because I've been tempted to tap I've been tempted to try some Rimmel bronzers so I picked this one up because it was on sale at Ulta this is the Rimmel London natural bronze and this is in the color sun bronze 22 and this is what it looks like it's a total matte bronzer and at first when I got it I was like oh that might not even show up on my skin just because right now I am more tan than my natural skin tone so some bronzers just won't even show up on my skin but this is such a pretty bronzer this is what i have all over my face today with that nyx um blush just to really chisel out my cheekbones and just bring warmth to the face as you can see and like i said this is a total matte bronzer and this one also has a little bit of those orange undertones, but it's not too overpowering. Now with this one, I do find that I have to layer it just a tad bit just to show a little bit more color to the skin. But I don't mind that because it's such an affordable product that, I mean, if you run out really like four bucks is not too much. This will definitely give you a more natural contour which sometimes that's what I want I want a more natural contour if I'm just like on the go so yeah this is the Rimmel natural bronzer in 22 sun bronze next is I would probably say it's my holy grail if I had to choose one bronzer out of all the ones that I own I would definitely say this one this is the bombs Bahama Mama bronzer and you guys have probably seen me use this plenty of times I was just like in love with this for the longest time and then I started exploring with new products and then I just kind of left this you know behind I forget how much I love this product first of all the balm has some pretty amazing products and I'm so glad that I got to pick this one up this has a little bit of those cool undertones but it still works as a bronzer. Sometimes if I'm just being a webona and I don't want to use other products on my face, I'll go straight with this. This is perfect for chiseling out your cheekbones. It'll give you a really nice sharp edge and it blends out so nicely. But if you also want to use it for a bronzer, which is mainly what it's for, it's perfect. Alright, so I am almost done. Another product that I wanted to talk about is the NYC NYC Smooth Skin Bronzing Powder and this is in the color Sunny. This is hyped all over on YouTube and all the reasons for it. This is such an amazing product. As you can see, I've clearly hit pan or at least a little bit of the pan on this because this is probably my go-to bronzer. First of all, it's super inexpensive. This runs you for two or three dollars and the quality in this is just amazing so as you can see here this is a little bit more chalky than the other products but nonetheless it's such an amazing product it has a little bit of those like brown orange undertones but not too much this is uh, this is such a good product to do a very light contour or just to do a very nice bronzy effect this is definitely one of the most used products that I have here and I just love it and I would continue to purchase it and I would recommend it to anybody that you know is on a budget and wants to use a bronzer and a contour is it right here and then really quickly I just wanted to mention this product this is the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil in medium deep I don't use this as much because it's so tiny that it just gets lost in 
you know all the trash that I have in there but this is such a good product I've been meaning to buy the full size just so I can use it I got the sample size just because I wanted to test it out but I didn't know if I wanted to splurge what $30 $40 on a bronzer so I picked this one up a while ago and I really really like it first of all it smells like chocolate second of all like the other ones it has a little bit of that cool undertone which again is perfect for giving you a natural contour so this one as well i use it to either just really contour my cheekbones and then bring color all around so this is just it's a really good product and i mean it's chocolate maybe you can eat it and the last two products again these aren't exactly bronzers that you can use to contour but they do have bronzers in them so you can use them to contour does that make sense this is the nyx um highlight and contour pro palettes now this one has tons of color well not tons but it has about eight colors to choose from you have this super dark one this one that that is a little bit more taupey and then these two are more of that orangey undertone if you are looking for an all-in-one kit, I highly suggest this NYX one because you're getting um, your setting powders to set your concealer and then you're getting a highlights color to highlight your cheekbones. You're getting bronzers and then you're also getting a really nice taupey color to just chisel out the cheekbones if that's what you want to do. I love this product um, and I just I think it's worth every penny. The other product is obviously the Anastasia Contour Kit, and this is in medium, I believe, I don't remember. Um, I honestly hardly ever use this. I used to be in love and obsessed with the banana powder, but I just, I don't know, I don't gravitate towards it as much. I do like it, don't get me wrong, I do like it, especially this color right here, I believe it is Fawn. It is a really nice, cool toned color to contour your cheeks cheekbones with and then these two colors are amazing to just warm up the face so it's the same thing as the NYX where you're getting um, you know different shades for your face but this is about $40 and that one's about 20 or 25 nonetheless it's a great product and Anastasia is just she's an amazing person so another favorite of mine so I believe that is everything that I wanted to talk about I hope I showed you guys some new goodies and if I have anything that you own that you think I should own definitely let me know and share your opinions in the section down below which is the comment section so that is everything for today's video thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't and I'll see you guys in my next video bye